Hello, my name is Dr. Gauri Kulkarni. I head the medical operations at Medibuddy and I'm a practicing family medicine specialist. Today we'll be talking about tips on balanced meals that we can take if we are undergoing cancer treatment or post recovery. Now cancer, as we all know, is, can be a devastating diagnosis itself, but the process of going through the treatment can be daunting. People undergo chemotherapy, radiotherapy, immunotherapy, surgeries, there's so many things that happen. And during all of this, nutrition is essentially an important and integral part to help us in our recovery process. Now what happens, you know, when we are going through a lot of these treatments, definitely it saps off our energies. Uh, you know, a lot of people uh, show weight loss, people show muscle loss, and it's important that we look at all the nutritive values that are going in. We always advise people to have a dietitian who can give them a diet plan, but few things that must definitely be included. Now it's important that we have a diet which has enough proteins in it. Proteins are our building blocks and when we are going through cancer treatment, there is a lot of repair work that is required in our body and hence having enough protein in our diet is essential. Apart from that, to get energy, it's important that we have complex carbohydrates, you know, we ate uh, your rice or your chapatis or grains, millets, you know, ensuring that you have uh, complex carbohydrates which will give you the necessary energy so that you can get through the day. Of course, having vitamins and minerals um, are important because they help in multiple processes in our body. And fats help in giving us the much required restating of our energies and ensuring that there is reserve of energy available for us to use at a later date. So ensure that you have a balanced meal which has high protein, enough uh, carbo complex carbohydrates and fats and adequate amount of vitamins and minerals. Now, few things to look out for here is that a lot of people who are uh, undergoing these treatments tend to have issues such as seeing difficulty in swallowing, right? Or there's a lack of appetite. So what can we do about it? You know, start off with small meals. Don't have a large meal because it is very difficult for the body to digest. So have smaller meals, eat every two hours, you know, eat say one fruit or say a, a bowl of you know, vegetable porridge or uh, you could have say protein in the form of say milk or soya or chicken, you know, whatever that works. But have smaller meals so that you are able to digest it. Second, have lots of water, right, so that it helps in digestion as well. Apart from that, eat what you like, you know, find out what is your favorite food and if that is available, uh, because then that makes it more easy for you um, in case you are having a loss of appetite. A lot of people have difficulty swallowing, uh, specifically say if anyone is having cancers of the throat or the mouth or you know in the nervous system or the brain you know they, these are the people who may have difficulty in swallowing so few things that can be done is just to make blend it so that you have like a liquid food that is available which can be easily swallowed or you know use supplements in the form of say protein powders or things which are given by your dietitian or your doctor after advice to help you to get the kind of nourishment that is required. Apart from that, your doctors would definitely advise you certain uh, you know, vitamins and mineral supplements if you are on treatment because they become essential to help in your you know, total recovery. So ensure that you are taking care of your nutritive value in your food and nutrition in general when you are going through cancer treatment and even post recovery so that you can have a better um, you know, outlook and a better recovery as well. Until next time, this is Dr. Gauri signing off. Stay healthy, stay safe.